In this video with the Onking, I'm going to show you how to find cards and tags in the browser. And it's a very simple method I wish I'd had when I first started. Uh, this is going to feature three separate add-ons. The first is browser search box quick insert tag deck note time. I, I know that's a, a mouthful, but it's an awesome add-on. Extended tag add edit dialog. This is great for decks that have lots of tags so that you can't see them all. As well as high yield tags. These are all great add-ons. and I'm going to show you how to use them right now. All right, I use these add-ons on a daily basis, and I'm really excited to show them to you. And this is kind of why. Uh, when you first start using this deck, you'll realize that there's a lot of cards. And so if you search something like pericarditis, because that's what you're learning today, you're going to come up with 64 cards, and you got to come up with just the one card that you're actually looking for. And it wasn't until a little bit later I realized you could use the tags, like cardio, and then go into pathology, and then type pericarditis, and have it pull up less cards to search through. But even still, a lot of times that ends up being a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you some really neat tricks to find the stuff that you're looking for. And to do that, I'm first going to show you this one add-on that has a really long name. I'm going to pull up the add-ons dialog here. This browser search box, blah, 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 quick insert stuff. It does help a lot. We're going to go into the config. Now, these are the only two things I use, and I haven't actually changed a lot of this. Um, I use this XX, or you could use all. I usually just use the XX because it's faster. But you can actually go in here and change what you want it to show and all sorts of stuff. There's keyboard shortcuts, and, and it's a really powerful add-on. So I'm going to show you just how I use it. Uh, go back to the browser here. So let's say, for example, you're learning about Rhett syndrome. Well, if you search Rhett, that's going to pull up 73 cards. But if we do this fancy trick here and we do XX, it's going to pull up a search bar for the tags. So you can see these are all the tags and decks in here. So now if I search RET, it will pull up any tags. And you can see here's an actual one on RET or here's another one on RET syndrome. So if I click that, now I have eight cards and that's everything I need to know about RET syndrome. This is really, really powerful. And I think that you'll enjoy using this with how cool the medical school decks are. And hopefully people making decks in the future will make them detailed like this so that you can use these add-ons. Now, it doesn't always work perfectly. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go back and do XX and we're learning about glioblastoma. You can see that it's not pulling anything up. Well, that's when this second add-on is going to be really helpful. So I'm going to go back here, show you the config for that. I'll pull up the add-on config. And it is called extended tag add edit dialog. We're going to the config. I actually changed this is what I'm going to use control six. I believe the default is shift alt six, but I changed it because I use it so often. You can change it for all sorts of things. Um, it actually works in the reviewer or the browser. And you can see I changed both to control six just for because it makes it easier. All right, we're going to go and show you exactly what happens right here. So let's say we're searching for glioblastoma and it pulls up 19 cards and you go and find the card that is relevant to your lecture for that day. Let's say you're talking about pseudopalisading tumor cells and you want to know how can I study more stuff on the same topic. Well, you want to look through these tags, but you can see this is a huge mess here. So I'm going to do this shortcut of command or control six here and it's going to pull up a dialogue of those tags but instead of it being this huge mess it's really nice and neat and so now you can see oh well of this card here that we're learning I could go and watch a boards and beyond video that covers it or I could go read a first aid section or I could watch a pathoma video or a sketchy path video like all sorts of good stuff right well let's say I want to do this pathoma video here so now I can go back in here type xx and then I can do CNS tumors and it'll pull up that tag right there. And then you can see everything related to that. So really powerful. Those two add-ons work really well together. Now I'm going to show you one last trick. If we go back to glioblastoma here, um, that is also really powerful. So if we go here and we go to the add-on config, it is this high yield tags add-on. I'm going to show you this because these are things you probably will want to customize. If you're using night mode, you definitely are going to want to change this highlight color. Uh, I have left the keyboard shortcuts, but you also may want to change these. This is the default for the search and the default for percent to box. I'll show you in just a second what that means. and It'll make more sense. So let's go back to the browser. So let's say of these 19 cards, and you may actually have hundreds, and you want to find out uh, which ones are ones that I could go and watch. We know what is the common tags between all of these. So I'm going to select all of these, and it's under the help menu, or you could use the keyboard shortcuts. You can just find the number of tags or with the highlights, and I'm going to show you the highlights. And so this is that default I just showed you in the config. So it is by default going to highlight any tags that have these words in them. It just kind of helps you identify tags that are of a higher importance to you. And then highlight values above a certain percent. Now I'm going to make it really low just so you can see. It'll highlight any of these tags where those videos uh, cover these tags more significantly. I'll make that it'll make a little more sense when you see it here. 
So for example, you can see here's all the tags represented in these 19 cards. It's highlighting any of those tags that have these search terms in them. And you can see of the 19 cards, 13 of them have this tag. So 13 have this pathoma tag of CNS tumors. And so there's 19 cards, 13 of them. So 68% of these cards have that tag. Now you can also see of this tag, this pathoma tag, 14% of that pathoma tag is represented in these cards and 18% of this sketchy path tag is represented in these cards. So you can just see which ones are more relevant and it's only highlighting greater than 10%. Now this one here is not highlighted because it is not highlighting this term over here. So use those things in conjunction. Now the last thing this add-on does that's also really powerful is it has these little check boxes over here. So let's say we decided I want to go watch this pathoma video. I'm going to click on that and then hit close and then I can make a name for that deck and it's going to create a, a search thing for that. So we'll go filtered pathoma. Oops. It's going to create a filtered deck based on that. And if you are going to use filtered decks, I strongly recommend you're using the V2 scheduler. We have a video on that and I would recommend you go watch it. As you can see, everything in this deck is new because I just set up this profile just for this video, so it didn't pull anything in here. But uh, you can go into the filter deck options and we could change it to is new or whatever else you wanted to uh, to kind of pull these things up just as an FYI. So now it's pulling up everything in that tag on that Pathoma. So it's just a really quick way, really quick workflow, and all of these add-ons will make searching in the browser far, far better, and you'll be able to search through all of these tags and save a lot of time. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.